stop. I know it feels like the best thing to do now is to give up and close the book. You might think that there's no point. Why should I continue? It's not working out. My work isn't good enough. I'm working hard, but no one cares. And before you continue further with these thoughts, I want you to stop and remember that you are now not giving up. You are just taking a break. Because just like everyone and everything else, we need breaks. We don't have to finish a book at one go. It's okay to close the book now when all those words and paragraphs are overwhelming you. Go take a break. Go have a good stretch. Go get some fresh air. Go get a drink. And while you're having that break, here are some things I'd like you to remember. 1. Someone out there loves and values the things that you have to offer. So keep doing what you do. 2. Your hard work is always worth it, even if you don't see it now. There are so many skills you've developed and lessons you've learned along the way throughout this hard work. And those are valuable things that will be so useful to you in coming situations you don't foresee. 3. This is all part of a beautiful learning experience. Have some fun while you're at it. 4. Some days, we may be swinging in between the uncertainties of life. Enjoy that swing. 5. Things will always change. One day, we're planning to go to the park daily. The next day, we're in a lockdown. So if things feel hard right now, remember that things will always change. 6. Remember that other time when it was so hard and you thought that you could not go through it? Well, look at where you are now. You went through it. You have overcome so many challenges before and you will go through this too now. 7. Beautiful things take time. Like a newborn after 9 months. Like your favorite flowers. They don't appear and bloom the day after you planted the seeds. Just keep watering them. 8. Maybe not getting what you want is a blessing in disguise. Maybe it is saving you from an unwanted circumstance. 9. You have your own unique strengths that nobody else has. Believe in your own authentic self. 10. Be kind to yourself. After all those hard work and struggles, you deserve the kindness. And now that you've given yourself the kindness you deserve, go pick up the pen again whenever you're ready. Because no one else has your story. No one else has heard it from your voice. So keep going. You've got this. This video is part of the weekly self-care Sunday series on my YouTube channel. And if it has inspired you, don't forget to like, share it with your friends, and subscribe at www.youtube.com slash Azalea Suhaimi so you won't miss an episode. Take care!